Welcome everyone, let's use Widget Smith in iOS 16 or iPadOS 16. So you will need to download the Widget Smith app, it's free from the App Store. And from here, we have these options, small widget, medium widget, and large widget. So let's say I want to create a small widget. You just tap on the widget itself, and now we can customize. So from here, you can choose what your widget wants to be. So by default, it's gonna show photo here, but if you scroll down, okay, you can choose all these other widgets here. Uh, the star is for VIP widgets, just keep that in mind. We can see stuff like month, calendar, dates, all that good stuff. There's a bunch of options to select. So let's say I just want a photo. So I'm just going to tap on photo here. And then you see these other options. Let's say aesthetic slash theme. You just tap on this button here and then you'll be brought to this view. So you can choose the background. So let's say you want blue hearts on the background of your photo, stuff like that, you can do that. Or maybe bold, I'm gonna choose this one here. And then I'm gonna tap on the next menu. So for me, it wants to choose a photo. So I'll tap on choose photo. And I just need to select a photo I would like to use. So let's say I'll just use this photo right here. Boom, and then you can see the photo just like that. Now you also see here, you can change the adjustment of the photo. You can use the pinch to zoom uh, as well, so everything looks perfect. Then you have the photo filter, so you can change the filter if you would like to as well. Now, depending on the type of widget you selected, these options here will be different, so keep that in mind. Then, when we're ready to go, we go back, and then we tap on Save. So now we have one widget here. Do keep in mind you can have multiple small widgets. If you want that, just tap on Add. Repeat the process and you're good to go. And you can of course repeat the same with the medium and the large widget. And so when I go to the home screen, you're gonna long press on the empty space. Don't long press on the nap, long press on the empty space. And you'll see the plus icon right here. Tap on the plus and you're gonna search it for widget and you should see widget Smith. Now tap on widget Smith and you see small widget, medium and large. So you just choose the size, let's say small and we we'll go to the home screen, just like that, the widget's added. But you're gonna notice something. I don't see the photo for my widget, so let's fix that. You're gonna long press on the widget you created. You're gonna find edit widget. And here is the deal. You can change the widget uh, which you created. So uh, small number one has the photo. So I'm gonna change the small number one. And just like that, there we go. Now here is the deal. You may notice earlier, Small one, small two. So if you wanted to change the widget on the home screen, let's say small two uh, was, in fact, I'll just do this real quick. I'm going to go to selected photo and I'll just quickly change this right here. So let's say you have multiple widgets with multiple different photos. What you do is when you create the widget, okay, am I doing the same earlier? Tapping on the plus, widget smith, boom. You just long press, edit widget, and you can change between all of the widgets you have created, okay? So it's very simple to do. Uh, once you've got everything good to go, you're gonna have a nice and customized home screen. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later, bye-bye.